they come through, the first thing they say is like, wow, I had no idea there was such a wide variety of art here. And we didn't force it, it just kind of just happened naturally. I don't think we really? <laughs> Definitely I mean, it's, not. It's been impressive. We've had, you know, musicians who are playing live. We have uh, sculptures um, and mixed media work, photography crafts, so there's something for everybody, every different kind of taste, and people that want to just browse, and then people who actually want to buy something can leave with something nice, and we also have been doing the Dover Art Totes, so if you spend over 25, you get to go home with your little memento mm -hmm. of the art walk. Dover has an art community. I think that's a big piece of this, and I think there's been a lot of talk around this for decades of saying, where's the artwork? Where's, where's the artists? How do the artists, how if I was an artist, how would I get seen? Mm -hmm. How could I have a, uh, a space that allows me to be found? And this is a great way to do it. So I see a lot of the same people and new people every single month. And uh, especially with our maps, and they love the fact that they can go to different locations and, and be entered into yeah. a drawing at the falls. And business owners think it's awesome because we're getting people walking the downtown, which is great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's so. building an, a, a, a nightlife that yeah. otherwise doesn't get found outside of maybe the restaurant or the bar area. Mm -hmm. So we kick things off at 4 o'clock and we go all the way to 8 o'clock. So it's a nice flexible time period. If you are motivated to do the whole map in one night, we suggest you get started right at 4 because we have a lot to see. <laughs> but the way we've been doing our maps is quarterly, so we have the same, uh, you can use the same app and bring it back next time if you want to try to get it all stamped. And if you do get it all stamped, you get to bring it to the Falls, which is our last stop, and enter into a raffle. We have different prizes from uh, businesses each month. And actually this month for our year anniversary, we have a $100 gift certificate to Ross Furniture. We're going to be giving out um, a People's Choice Award, so those who are visiting around on their map, they'll see there's a line to write in your favorite artist. So we're going to be presenting this at the Falls at 8 p.m. when we do our raffle. We figured it was a fun thing to do for the anniversary and just celebrate the artists that are involved and give the visitors a chance to be more attractive. We hope it encourages them to remember the artists that they've seen, uh, take business card, use their map, and reference the website. So we at DoverArtWalk.com. We also have profiles for all the artists involved in the walk. So, because I know when I go to a show and I'm like, oh, I love that person, I forgot who it was. We really want to make it easy for people and give recognition to the artists. Dover Art Main Street got involved um, because we wanted to bring people downtown. We wanted to help the local businesses and we wanted to showcase our artists. I mean, the coolest thing about the art walk is being able to connect artists with businesses downtown so they can hang their art and then having people come into those stores and look at the art and buy it right there at the store and then maybe even purchase something from that store. So it just helps shop, shop local.